Hello and welcome. Today we're going to be talking about the graph, uh, the Cartesian product and graph sets of functions. Okay, so let's get right down to it. Um, it's a pretty straightforward concept, um, but it's, it's really worth uh, going over carefully to understand what's going on. So, uh, again, this is a, in the context of set theory. And the idea is if I have a set A and if I have a set B are uh, sets. And, and the idea here, oops, I'm not spelling very well. The idea is the idea is that uh, we want to like build a new types of uh, sets uh, I should say uh, by combining by combining a and uh, B together. So the idea here is that um, uh, the idea of if I take A from A and if I take B from B, if I just take any two points and I, and I make I make a, a um, an ordered list A, B. All right. So we're familiar with this idea of an ordered list, the idea that A and B are, are, are like a combination of two objects put together in some list, okay? All right, and this, of course, new object is not equal to A or B. They are, it's a completely new object. It's a derived object made out of A and B by combining them together in a list, right? Just like you know, a sentence is more than the sum of is more than just uh, you know a, a bunch of words. It's actually an object that's made by combining uh, words into an ordered list. So that would be an example uh, of uh, of this sort of thing. So what we want to do now is define this as a formal procedure. Uh, the Cartesian product. The Cartesian product as the symbol A cross B. All right, that's the symbol right there. And and A cross B is uh, you know, is it's a new set. It's a new set and it's equal to here's our bracket notation. All the ordered pairs subject to the condition, and the condition is fairly straightforward, that it's all the combinations of pairs of A coming from the set A and little b coming from the set big B. Okay? And so that's the basic idea here is that it's the, if I was going to write just the, it's the set of all uh, combinations. Okay. So um, we can give a pretty straightforward example here. Okay, let's talk about a really specific example. Let's say A is, of course, equal to, uh, we'll say the, the closed interval 0 to 1 in the real numbers, okay? And then if I have B, that's going to be uh, the set 0, 1 in the real numbers. All right, so, um, <clears throat> of course, objects here. A is just some, A and B are some real numbers. real numbers um, in 0 comma 1. And now of course A cross B is going to be uh, uh, just uh, real numbers A comma B uh, where A and B 
our elements of 0, 1. Okay, so that doesn't seem like we've really expanded, but really what we want to do now is sort of, let's like do a, draw, a drawing of this. So if I did a drawing of this, what I would do is uh, the product would look like would be basically a, a square. It'd be a, you know in a plane. Oops. All right. So down here we have a, um, and then here we have uh, b. All the b's, and so we go from zero to one. We go from zero to one, and all these points inside that square are now these this ordered list a comma b uh, points that are in this square. Okay, and so the idea here is that points in a plane are not you know real numbers; they are an ordered list of real numbers, um, uh, and so that's the idea behind um, uh, the, the Cartesian product creates a new set that is nothing like the old set. It's a, it's this idea of a combination. Okay, so that's a pretty straightforward idea, and it seems a bit pedantic. So now let's define a new idea. Now this is the idea of a graph. Okay. So a graph, it's a set. Oop. It's a set. So it's a graph set. And I'm going to call it, um, we do, the idea here is that uh, a set, so let's say if we have, again, uh, uh, you know, we have A and B are sets, right? And then we create this new set, A cross B, which is that Cartesian product of the two sets. So this is, of course, again, all uh, combos. all combos of the objects. And the idea now is now take a function. I'm going to call this function um, g. And it's going to be a function that takes uh, uh, objects in A and assigns them to objects in B. Okay. All right. So again, we have now uh, g of A equals a B. And the, and the idea here is that now what we want to define now is, so G is this abstract pairing, but we can actually now define G to be a subset of the Cartesian product, and it's going to be equal to the set of all points A comma B, such that A is an element of capital A, and B is equal to G of A. All right. And so the idea here, if we go back to my example, if I had A is equal, and A and B, comma, there, are both equal to the, the unit interval. All right. And then, of course, we had our, our, our picture of that set as being that square. So 0 to 1, 0 to 1. Uh, we're all very familiar with that. And of course, points in the plane, called A comma B, are just every point in this plane. All right? and, and they're, of course, not real numbers. They are combinations of real numbers. <coughs> a wholly different type of object. And now we want to define, if I have a G of X, now I'm going to say that this G of X is equal to X squared is equal to Y. Okay, so this is, uh, you know, this is, well, we're going to define this. Our example. Okay, this is our example. Uh, we're going to go with x squared. So, of course, g then is going to be equal to the set of all points x comma y that are in a cross b. That's the set of objects we're considering, such that x is an element of 0 comma 1 and y is equal to x squared. Okay, and, and now this set, of course, g is truly a subset of a cross b. All right, it's a special type of subset. It's a special type of subset where uh, every unique value in the x domain, down here in the a domain, is assigned to only one uh, value in the, in the b domain. And that's, that's the key thing here. But these are special types of subsets, and of course we can draw that. We're all very familiar with this set from calculus, uh, that, that that is y equals x squared. 
So here is y equals x squared, and that's that set G. And clearly, within the set of all pairs, there's this line of points within this plane. And if we collect all those points up, that creates our set G, and that surely is a subset of the Cartesian product. So the idea here, there's not a really huge idea here, it's just getting our language correct here, and so that we, we can actually take functions and actually take this function, create a set out of it. And that, that set object might be easier to understand or analyze than the function itself. Uh, it retains a lot of the properties of functions. It's the idea that they're one and the same, that a function and a graph set go hand in hand. And, and, uh, and we can study the function by studying the graph set and vice versa. If I have a graph set, I can study, a f I can study the function associated with that graph set. All right, so uh, that's all we have for today. It's a very simple concept. I just wanted to get this de definition down. So uh, thank you very much.